Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. When they told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment. When you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem is, that in their darkness, Fifty-six years ago, Russia, the Northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Welcome back to Luke Lawson Plays. Today we find ourselves in Mother Russia. The year is 1959. And this is set immediately after the events that took place on Kolot. A brief summary of what transpired is a group of skiers weren't just murdered, but were... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here. This is going to be kind of a, an intense experience. They were found, some of which, I think there was a tongue ripped from someone's mouth. Um... They had their, they had cut themselves out of their own tent, so it was cut from the inside, and two of which were found a hundred or so yards from the tent, still in their underpants, froze to death, with cuts and scrapes and bruises where they had attempted to climb a tree. Um, there was another individual that was found with their skull crushed in. There was another individual that was found um, with injuries that seemed to have been almost similar to a car crash. Uh, ma major internal bruisings and damages. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm only concerned with why there is a game surrounding this event because I, my first thought is it's a Yeti, obviously and you may not feel like they exist just remember this is but a game and in a game anything can exist so what the developers have done is taken this terrifying and horrific unexplained and unsolved mystery and built that into its own playable adventure my first thought seeing some of this game like, oh, look, it's kind of like Firewatch. It's so precious. Just a little more snow. And now I'm wondering why I would subject myself to some sort of bizarre psychological thriller when I absolutely hate being scared. Truly and honestly hate it with my whole being. Part of me just wants this to be a beautiful experience that lets us travel the Russian wilderness in the depths of winter. I'm lucky to have you guys with me. I can assure you there will be times that I will scare myself, even when the game is not attempting to frighten me. I only ask that you not make too much fun of me and that you encourage me through this journey. I know that, um we will be able to make it through this together we're just gonna we're gonna head up the path if we can go there we shall go there appreciate you coming along i don't want to do this alone i don't really know if i want to do this at all but if i have to go i would much rather you be with me i'm really feeling like this would be extremely cold 
I don't know if we should go through the train yard or just continue the path. Yeah, we'll just we'll continue traipsing deeper into the woods and away from civilization because if you're if you're a Bigfoot, I feel like you would want to be farther away from the city. I don't even know if that's what we're well, I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. Maybe that's what's supposed to be scary about the game. I don't even know if I have a backpack on. I don't know where I would keep my snacks. Do I did I even bring water? Did I pack enough underwear? I I don't even know at this point. This is frightening. I'm the type of person that is a mandatory plan for every scenario, spend 10 times longer preparing than it takes to complete. And you just dumped me out in the woods. I am already nervous because I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know what I need. Maybe we are on our way to investigate the site of the murders? Or truthfully my game could just be broken and the remaining assets failed to load and all the things that we were supposed to do aren't even there for me to see or pick up. That is a likely option. This that looks ominous. That looks super ominous. Uh wait. What is this? Uh Are they gone? I know that there was something on that, like glowing footprints of some sort. Are you coming to me? Yeah, who said that? What is happening? If you're still watching right now, I'm glad you're here. I don't know what is about to happen oh look I'm yeah let's go inside this thing yeah that seems smart oh it's so bright oh my god what was the I think I fell did I fall in a hole in the end the only thing I saw was a flash an insufferable burning light the pain ripping apart my body I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. But the you light had went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. You can't be nobody. I welcomed the end with delight. A nobody does not leave for friends, so. so in the end, he welcomed the darkness. What I... I fell in I, I'm pretty sure you just fell into a snowdrift there I don't I don't really think I mean I feel like I can see the ground but I can't really tell where horizon and sky stop what is this Walk. I am right behind you. That's a super creepy thing to say to someone in the middle of a snowstorm. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. When they told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment. When you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem is, 
It's in that darkness. You have never been alone. What in the world is happening right now? So we made it to camp, and those freaky footprints were back, and I'm not sure what that is on top of that mountain. I feel like the Eye of Sauron is watching us. Pretty sure we're still in Russia. We didn't walk to Mordor. I... it's a full moon, so that's never a good sign. I kind of just want to stay here. Can I go back in the... let me... in the tent! Uh, 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 can I... I can't take that. No. So... Um... I... Uh, I don't know, I guess it's... So I know red would normally point to the north, so I, the C is the Russian N, and that other, the, what looks to be a tin with a connector, is an S? I don't, my acrylic is not strong. Uh, uh, do I have a map? I can crouch, crouchy, 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 crouchy. I do have a map. Things are looking so great. I won't get lost today. Um, well. So. What? What's. Uh, so this is. <laughs> this is like our you are here thing, maybe? Yeah. Let's assume that this is our you are here. And. gonna have to do some major traveling. I'm a little concerned that a majority of these points aren't connected from A to B, which means that there will be some off-route traveling. What a ginormous map this is indeed. So pretty much our goal is going to be to learn to navigate properly and figure out the mechanics of navigation, to be completely honest. If we are in this location, the trail in front of us should loop back around entirely. Why would we go there instead of a direct left? I don't really have a true legend. I gotta, I gotta figure out my cardinal directions. So, this trail, directly in front of me, leaving our tent, is a southeastern trailhead? Yep. Survival info. Oh my gosh. Running in deep snow is tiring, adjust the pace to the surrounding conditions so you don't exhaust your organism. I'm gonna... I'm an organism! Before setting off on a long journey, rest in the camp and set a goal for a safe route. That's always smart. Um, so you can focus, which we did on the Eye of Sauron slightly earlier. Uh, so we can utilize flashlight. And... observe the environment with your map and compass. We will have... Okay, so there are available shortcuts or interesting places that are going to be along rocky paths. And we'll have to squeeze or jump. That sounds interesting. So... We've not picked up anything else yet. But it looks like as we continue to go through, we'll find things that we can add to our book of... 
wonders. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Well, I. I don't want my map out anymore. But I want my flashlight. Learning how to survive. There it is. We will learn how to survive together. Okay, well. I feel like reading that single page primer on the proper methods of... What is that? On the proper methods of wilderness survival clearly taught us everything we need to not only survive but to thrive if you know what i mean this is our element this is we were built for this and when i say we i mean the individual in the story for today we have become one with our environment uh all right so there's a glowing hole I saw nothing in the book that taught me about this. I... Well, I mean, sure, let's investigate it. I don't know... Oh, why would you put a page on there? I, I set out the moment I heard about oh the incident. Oh my gosh. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set up. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Why is this happening is the proper question right now. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm sorry. I'm, oh my god. Holy crap. We did not survive. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.